Hello and welcome back to Dead Space. Now, when we last left off, everything had gone wrong, our ship had exploded, we had crashed on the USG Ishimura, and we had gotten the Kinesis Module. From this lady here. She's dead now. Don't worry, we didn't kill her. And now, we're gonna go on an adventure to find the captain. The dead captain, of course. Oh, boxes. A trivial obstacle when one has the power of kinesis. I didn't even want that that time. Oh, there was a tutorial, that's why. Ah, for the flamethrower. Which I never liked that much, but is certainly a fine weapon. Ivan, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Why is there thermite in the med bay? That's what I want to know. That's the question. Perhaps there's some space use for thermite in medicine. I dread to think what exactly. Are you okay, sir? All have an mode. Oh, now you tell me. Thanks. Are you okay, sir? Oh my, oh my. He's missing his whole front. That's very unpleasant. Quite minced. Now we actually get some line racks, because we actually have the line racks. Fine, we'll drop it further away from the line racks. We'll also use the line gun. Show off what it does. Yes, yes. Oh, I missed. How, how terrible of me. Quite poor. There we go. Alright, here we go. in here. Plasma energy. Locked. Ooh, goodies. Yeah. Can never have enough plasma energy. Is someone spindly in here? Where are the spindly ones? Oh, get mint. Oh, oh, please, sir. Oh, whoops. It's a good thing we have oodles and oodles of med packs. Oh, there you are. Yeah, the flying gun's pretty fantastic. It's actually not a bad idea to only keep like a couple, get like a couple of guns because it does the thing where once you have a weapon, it starts giving you the ammo for it. So if you have a lot of guns, it tends to just give you a little bit of ammo for every gun. Whereas if you just have, say, the plasma cutter, it gives you oodles of plasma energy. As you can see by the fact we have lots of plasma energy, despite only being a few minutes into the game. Not even an hour into the game, in fact, yet. But the line gun's fantastic, so obviously you should get the line gun. Just saying. Line Rex. Ah, 
uh, stasis recharge station. This is what they put places when you actually need to use stasis. I can hear someone being very disgusted. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, there they are. God, you're all such a rude dude. Why can't you be like Barry, the party necker more? I miss Barry. He was just here to have a good time. See, now that we have the line gun, we're getting lots of line racks. Oh, an audio rack. Gun. I finally convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Ah, now we officially know they're called necromorphs. Oh. What a fine chart. Oh, go on then. I'm not one to turn down a save point. Especially since this is a PC game. PC games are prone to crashing after all. Still don't know why it drops so many frames on the save screen. It's not like it's actually saving when that's happened. It's just looking in the menu, but it's like, nope. Oh, these line racks. Fantastic. Open the door. Are we supposed to go this way? We are. Hello, sir. Sorry, sir. And that is why you shouldn't trust babies. They'll turn into three tentacled monsters and shoot you. Don't worry, it wouldn't let us actually open this door while that was going on. We couldn't save him. He was destined to die. That baby. Oh, get off. No. No babies. Stomp it, Isaac. There we go. That kick, though. Good kick, Isaac. Oh, so many line racks. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we don't want that. Just take up space. All these babies just waiting to betray us. Like that one right there. Oh, please get your tentacle back out. Uh, should not be doing this. The line rack's not fantastic. Doing those. At least when they're on the wall like that. Because the line gun, unlike the plasma cutter, cannot fire horizontally or vertically. Alright, onward as we go. Further into the ship. Ooh, power node. Yes, power nodes are always in those. What's this? Thermite! Which is in the med bay for some reason. A thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shark pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Ha, ah, got you that time, you wily door. Okay. Oh. Oh, that necromorph's a lady. Oh, you weren't dead! You lied to me! Oh! That was very rude. Oh, I'm not even gonna use a med pack, we barely took any damage. Ah, uh, before we go that way, let's go over here. Actually, let's get rid of that flamethrower schematic first. Because that's just taking up space in the inventory right now. And... Nah, 
not right now. We'll save it. We'll save our money. Don't worry, I'll at least buy the guns to show you what they do. Of course, the Ripper is the most entertaining one. Actually, are we supposed to go this way? Oh, we are supposed to go this way. I thought we just used the thermite. Silly me. What's going on over there? Sir? S sir? Can I, can I help you with anything? Sir? Sir? He's gone now. What was that? Oh, look, we can do this. Yeah. We solved a puzzle. What's in there? Goodies are in there. We want to get in there. Oh, a bench. Perfect. Picked up a module. Uh, we will upgrade the damage on the line gun. We mostly just want to upgrade the plasma cutter, but we'll put some stuff in there. Ah, text log. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb, succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is, no, is not in doubt. Two planetside security officers were present when he took Dr. Sicarello hostage and murdered Nor Nurse Evans. And he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classy, classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransient. Intransient. I, I don't know how you say that. Displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces and he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. God damn it, Harris. I already did. Did you not see me do that game? Come on. Go on then. Smack you right in the gobba. Where'd the other one go? I'm gonna get a hazard behind me. Oh, it's such a mannequin. They can live without their head. That's against the rules of zombies. Well, I guess they're not really zombies, though, in all fairness. Ooh. Yeah, like Max. Oh, this is a puzzle. Watch. Watch as I be, be the expert engineer Isaac is. Come on. There we go. It's working now. We fixed it. We're space engineers. Ooh, power node. Oh, hello. Oh, hello also. You okay? Well, he isn't now. False rounds. That is the schematic for machine gun ammo. We do not possess the machine gun, nor do we particularly want the machine gun, but I guess we can buy a machine gun. Later, then, because we're not near a store right now. Where are you at? There you at. behind me? No. Can you move this while you're on it? I 
up again. Nope. What's that say? Infidels. Nope. I have a space shot. Even though technically I'm pretty sure this is actually just mining equipment, but, you know. Gets the job done pretty good. Pretty sure I just heard a baby. We're gonna get this out just in case we encounter a baby. Oh, save point. Yes, sir. I will have that. We'll save here. Accept. Yes. Alright, we're gonna be a space engineer again. Are you ready? Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh, it doesn't work on this one. How sad. Which is the correct way? That way. So we will go this way. We won't go that way. I lied. We're gonna go this way. This is the way we wanted to go the whole time. Oh, the vacuum. Yes, yes, stop wasting my time by not letting me move. Uh, what's that? Medium air can. Plasma energy. If I'm not mistaken, there's a collectible out here. We'll worry about it another time. As you know, Yushimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. I like how they always tell you these things after you've always already been through it. Oh, this is fun. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, space. Ooh, space. Oh, look, a puzzle. We're good at puzzles. Ah, come on. There we go. Great success. Zero gravity. Uh, open up. Ah, shock pad. We can use the thermite Wait, now. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Oh, God. No, please don't spindle me. There we go. Oh god! I was looking to see if something was hidden in this room. Oh my god, you're still not dead. How exceptionally rude of you. And come on, there you go. Uh, is there something over here? Guess not. Oh. Yeah. Why is that floating here? The door doesn't need any. Am I missing something, goodies? Doesn't look like it. Oh well. Yes, open. Exiting zero gravity. Out into the vacuum we go again. I like that the sound cuts out in space. Very aliens. Which this game does take a few cues from. Mostly her vent horizon, though. Good movie, recommend. Exiting vacuum. Way. Now we can go back and use the thermite. 
which for some reason they need in the med bay. Yes, that does still bother me. Babies. I think. Stay up there. Where's the other one at? Oh, there he's at. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, so sad for you. Give me that. How do you open this door? Ah, you need to use a power node. That's right. Go on, then. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? So yeah, everyone's going crazy. Oh, God. I just want the line racks. So this gold semiconductor we sell for a lot of credits, by the way, in case you were curious as to why I picked that up. Get out of here. I want these line racks. I want... Fine, I will drop things further away. I should probably drop the one that isn't a full stack. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna go use that thermite. Are you gonna get up and be spindly? No? Good. Oh no, not these ones. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, get off. No, this is where the flamethrower would be real good. Ah, oh, stop it. No. Oh, that was... Those are terrible. There's an enemy later that if you kill it incorrectly, those pop out of it, and they swarm you, and you'll probably die, because there's, like, a bunch of those on you, and a bunch of everything else is on you. It's all terrible. The moral of the story is don't get killed by the fleas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So, gold semiconductor. Yes. Um... Which one should we buy? We'll buy the flamethrower. Because it isn't the machine gun. Basically. Oh, which one's that on? That's on four. Okay. Alright. On we go. Isaac, you don't use thermite when you're right next to it. It's unsafe. You should know better. You're an engineer. A space engineer, no less. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. You know, it was pretty ramshackle. I could have probably just torn it apart with the kinesis module. <laughs> Trust Nicole. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get up to the table. Hold him. Not you. Hold him down. Christ. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. You know, we've yet to meet a single alive member of the crew that didn't die right afterwards. And looked like they were probably better off for it, so... <laughs> you know... Just saying. 
Sorry, we are full. You don't look very full. Very spooky. On we go. Not on here. Babies. Let's show you the plane, though. Baby. Oh no, oh, he's just gonna test me for you. As you can see, it doesn't kill things very efficiently. Come on. Put your little things out. Do it. There we go. Face. See, that's the flame star. It's uh, not the most efficient weapon. It's no line run or uh, plasma cutter. Where does that go? Where are we supposed to go? Oh, the blinking lights, though. Oxygen recharge. Wait, did we come from this way? We did. Silly me. Oh, that's where it goes. Okay. You, get over here. Get in the hole. Ah, now the light isn't blinking anymore. Great success. We're gonna use space shotgun for a while. Just because it's more fun, basically. Uh, this way. Babies. Very quiet. I'm hunting babies. Pull the tentacles in. Now we're rid of it. Now it's dead, though. Do we have one? We don't. I can't remember which of the doors are actually worth opening either. No spindly. No being spindly at people. You either. Oh, you too? Yeah, too spindly. So much flame for you. I guess I'll reload it. Since we used, like, all of it to kill the one baby. Credits. Oh, look at his head. Oh, physics. Dunk. Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come to me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. <gasps> You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Please! Harris, come on, bro. Rude, I'm reading a text log. Oh, we're out of line racks? That's just sad. Alright, uh... Where are the logs? Ah, uh, da 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 da. Oh, this is... Because you don't actually use the mouse on this section. You use the arrow keys, and I'm not sure which button actually takes us to the database. There we go. Ah, uh, da 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 da. Finder. Which is the one we just picked up? This one. feel like it wasn't worth the effort. Are there any funny names? No. There's Cody with a K. That's kind of funny, I guess. But no, basically. It was quite so oh, yes, line racks. Only two of them, though. More line racks, maybe? 
No, of course not. We'll load it, because you never know. Alright, on we go. Well, okay then. Oh, a baby. Ah, uh, something terrible happened in there. And out here, something really terrible happened over here. If only Jack were here, he could deduce that perhaps there was a commotion in this room. Further to our previous con conversation, I ask that you delay bringing up the marker from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask, what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented, to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. <laughs> in light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with uh, Dr. Scarine Scarinello and Wellard, Welland, Planetside, to get their observations. Terence. You should never trust anyone named Terence, just saying. Especially if they're a doctor, they're bound to be evil. Alright. We're gonna save, obviously. Why not? And on we go. Ooh, another log. Log. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Morgs are always fun. We don't like flying ones, by the way. Flying ones get to die very, very quickly. Ah, oh, no, stop that. Stomp on it, Isaac. Use your mighty boot. Good news, that was the captain. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Um, death, basically. It's about the long and short of it. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Mathis dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted, and beyond the scope of my role, I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leucotent something count was very low, with SS something in particular almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the ribcage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. The cause of death was a single, prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. Lovely. 
The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the probability of self infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of UNLAWFUL DEATH. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Gonna guess it was deliberate? Just saying. Not sure that that's an accident. Well, what's this over here? Credits? In the morgue? I will, I will not pass those up. But yes, we don't like the flying ones very much because they uh, make more necromorphs. And we don't like more necromorphs. We like less necromorphs. And now we could open that door back there. If only I knew what was in the door. Do we want to go that way? We do. I don't, though. I want to go back and use it on that door. It's a calculated gamble that may or may not pay off. Wasn't too far back. We'll be fine. Baby. This is the hall that mysteriously exploded for no reason. They open this door. Dr. Mercer. Over this way. Oh. I'm guessing that was a shortcut. Hmm. I don't remember what is that way. Probably comes through that locked door. Goodies everywhere. Oh, the line rack schematic. That's what we want. That was a well worthwhile trip. Ugh. Oh. It pains me to know that that trip was slightly wasted because now I must go back the other way because there might be goodies over there when I could have just gone that way to begin with. How foolish of me. Forgive me, I was young and naive a minute and a half ago. It's alright, it's not that far back, it's all good, but there are mere moments. This is when we go all the way back there and find out there was nothing that way at all. Also, vi uh, Isaac's visor reflects off the walls. Captain just sort of exploded a little bit for no particular reason. I'm going to be quite upset if this lift literally just takes you out the door we were just at. Oh, no, it didn't. Put us back here. Can you not? These necromorphs are a little hardier, you can tell, because they're a different color. They're rude dudes. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Oh, I gotta do everything myself. Uh, we didn't have anything to sell, did we? No. Uh, we're gonna put the flamethrower in the uh, storage, though. Because I believe it will not give us ammo for it if we aren't carrying it. Which would be good. Now we can buy line racks. Yay, and we're gonna buy a few because we don't have that many of them. And I.
suppose we can buy the pulse rifle so that we can show you, I can show you what it does. As much as it will pain me. What even is the all fire on that? That was the all fire on that. Okay. Back to the tram station. Riding the rails. Chapter 2 complete. Yay, great success. Why, I would love to save it. Thank you. Chapter 3, course correction. We're going to the engines now. He's got two problems, and we're working on borrowed time here. First, there's no fuel in the engine. Shit. Second, the gravity centrifuge is Shit. offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. I'll do everything myself, God. But that seems like a good place to end it on. We just finished the chapter after all, so what better time? So, we didn't really find out very much. We found out that everything's slightly more doomed than we thought it was. We're about to crash into the planet. Isaac has to do absolutely everything. Standard fare. So, on that cheerful note, we're going to end it today. So until next time, ta-ta!